Here I come again, Jaja. Chat and love with Atlas here. But love of this me the pissy, yo don't care. Rise dirty bunker, rise dirty bunker, rise dirty bunker, rise dirty bunker. On a rise, I on a bex, I know on a feel. On a feel this morning, dirty bunker. Samaria, I you me a dashboard for? Can you bad mind me? You bad mind me, dirty bungle. I know your backs, but I feel good. I feel good. I wake up and give thanks for life. And it's nice when you can wake up and give thanks for life. And give thanks to the great people them. We're in our life. And the wicked people them we're in our life too. So we give thanks to every one of them. All of the parents them from my page. Make sure to remind the children them how much you love them. I love my people them. Yeah. I love them bad. I remember when I see them, I'm going to look at them nice. I said, Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? When we wake up and see our life nice because I realize that a lot of people don't appreciate life until something drastic happens or them in a spot and they remember God and ball out and say, Jesus Christ, oh my soul, so why me can't get a breakthrough? Oh, and them ball. Me dey pon that. Me that man wake up and me take the good, me take the bad, and the indifference. See? Me look for me pitney this morning. I me say look for me pitney. I me pitney that you know. I me proud of me pitney. And my son tell me say I love me and him going to work. I'm just telling my jacket that I say, I love her a little bit too, but I really love her wally. But I'm a pit me. I lose your jacket. And it does bring great joy to my heart, you know? I'll not turn parents yet. Make sure say you're not ready. If you're not ready, leave it alone. Because I tell you. It come with a whole leap, whole leap of different, different things. And every day I go be the nice sun in the sky. You have some days I go be drought. Some days I go be cloudy. Some days I go be rainy. Storm I go go on. You know what I mean? But just as I say, it's a great feeling, but it come with a whole leap of mixed emotions. So if you don't prepare for that, Leave it alone. You see me? Because we're living in a time right now where me are telling the people the world rough. And it are going worldwide now. Not even just Jamaica, because remember people from all God follow you. So 
it's not just Jamaica alone. We are dealing with a world right now where them look at youth and nowadays and every one of them are grow with morals and them not grow with no love. Like them parents not tell them, say them love them enough or show them, say them love them enough or, you know, some parents feel themselves. Is it? A lot of mercy got this alongside, oh, reign supreme, could I never be about to be in a routine of sardine. Zane, it come with a whole heap, whole heap, whole heap, whole heap, whole heap of things. We are not found and ready for yet because we don't really take responsibility serious. You can't choose when to be responsible. You have to always be responsible and hold yourself accountable. Zane, some of us come on and me have a big smile on my face and it nice me. Cause me look on my pit them and I say, watch my pit me them. And my balls that, you know. Them come from my seed, you know. Zane, I look on me and see how me nice and I say, Jesus Christ. Look on my pit me them. My toe jacket them. One and two. And Scooby Doo asks, where are you? Zane, remember you know, I talk it all the time and I say, Father's Day don't get celebrated enough. I kind of understand because you know, you have the stigma out there where the father them always run with God. It's always a mother who take it up in her hand and be both parents, you know. Because she have to show the youth how to do certain things and, you know, when it reach to the stage of life there. Zin, where you have to reason with the youth, they want to show them, say, listen to me, you have to do this and you're not supposed to do that. But may I tell you these people, if you're not a parent yet, whenever you turn parents and your youth, them reach a certain age, like when they start to be able to understand things, give them a chance to grow just stay behind and watch them grow. Not disappear and don't push them to do things too quick. If you're in the kitchen and you cut up meat, make the child help you season up the meat. Because you don't want them to cut themselves with the knife. Because remember, say teaching starts from early. So you make them climb up on one of them little stool or one of them little chair and you show them what kind of seasoning to put on the meat. Because remember, you know, learning begins within the home. Somehow we give teacher too much work for do. Teacher 40 kids a day with and we just have one or two hour yard. And we now see and make them learn for do the thing. You go to my yard wash your clothes. Teach a little daughter how to wash her panty, you know. She young and she little bit. So, you know, give her a little one. A little one her panty them, you know. I said, do it like this. If you use cake soap, you rub it to the cake soap. Because remember, I saw the fundamentals that are come in where they are going to learn to do things. We can't spoil the children, them, of course. Spoil them. Wrap them to. But remember, make them understand things. We have to make them know things. Remember when we did young or when we did young, we were on a washing machine. Remember, say, anywhere the dirt up on my pants, you just put it at the sink and I write this on my scrub. Scrub this up, scrub this up, scrub this up. You know what I mean? I write this on my scrub. What anywhere in the dirt there. Because we are come from the stage where we have swap up with white clothes and we swap it up with, with, with bleach and, and cake soap. And put it in our one bag and put it in our sun. You know what I mean? So, me the man when I come on to parenting. I have a passion feed. I have a passion feed. A lot of women are not ready to be mothers. They can be baby carriers, just like how you have sperm donors. And not every woman a mother. And not every woman a mother. You know, they're a child bearer. So they bear for the child and then they don't have the responsibility. So they leave it. Seeing our dying feet to a certain stage for them left it and gone go do what they have to do. You know what I mean? So me the man have forever come on. I just come come on and I just feel a like joy, you know? And me I say, yes. Look for my pity them. My nice daughter. 
I'm a nice son. Add that we've talked about. Remember, you know, you've been brag over your picnic them and go on, you know, celebrate the picnic them every day. And remember, don't ever forget to tell them how much you love them. You don't have to show the internet, you know, make sure you tell them. So that means, say, come in by now. When you put out on the internet, the internet see if you don't put out not them can't see nothing. But make sure you have that something there with your picnic. If you have a one son or you have a one daughter, create a relationship with them. It not go always be smooth because remember this agreement I got happen because it's a relationship. You understand? You are your child in a relationship. You play your part. You know what I mean? You have to love your pity them endlessly. Them sometimes me know say some of our daughter get pregnant before time because she run down some things. Cause probably you never reason with her the right way and show her say listen me I gotta have sex but you have to use protection because remember say me don't want you come live like me and this is the thing when enough parents nah tell them pity. They're not telling their children not to come and be like them. Be better than me. I always tell my children that to come and be better than me. I want you to live better than me. Don't come live like me. Don't be just like me. Be better than me. Be the best version of yourself. Someone who don't have mama and papa. You don't send the picnic to school and the picnic leave school and get a work. You don't want to dig in the picnic pay. You don't give the picnic a chance to live a little. You don't force and responsibility upon the picnic them. And them have to pay for food and lifestyle. So what you did do all of your 30 odd years? All of what you did do all of your 40 odd years? What you did do all of your 50 odd years? Hmm? What were you doing? Time for this little boy to get big. Time for this little girl to get big for come take care of you. For your walk and tell everybody, say, oh, my picnic, how we kid? And the boy no give me nothing. And the boy no this and the boy no that. No child is responsible for no parent. Parent is responsible for a child. Until the child reach for them state to take care of themselves. If they give you something as a parent, you say thank God. And you say thanks my pitney. Me not take nothing from my pitney them. Ask them. Not me not take from them. Them no mistake. Come on, them better themselves. More see me pity them, I do good. It bring me joy if you see me youth, them I do good. No found no dirty woman and pa and man. You know, in a some competition, you know, one pity, you know, grudge, you know, pity, and bad mind, you know, pity. You know, daughter might come shape better than you know, you know, son might come good looking down, but you know, for God's sake, the better version of you know, that you know. You know, for God's sake, the better version of you know. You know, so you know, son with a girl. You know, bex. You know, child look all you know, son woman. You know, child flat money in front of you know, son girl. Yeah. You know, child do the whole of them something there. Some of you know, mama. You know, child look on you know, daughter, man. Come out in a, in a, in a towel. Try bend down and pick up soap for the little boy. I see and that, you know. And then two toes, him fuck you. Up. And when him fuck you now, him start walk and tell people, say, him sex the mother and the daughter. Because you never looking at your dirty thinking self. I say, listen me, I must respect my daughter. I must respect my son. And most of all, I must respect myself. You have to have self-respect. You have to have self-respect. Respect yourself. No relationship gets strained with the youth because of mistake that a mother made or a father made. Reps, don't forget the part where relationship goes sour. Pitney them have to live in a two yard, two different yard. And when it live in a two different yard, they don't know. Most of the time, the youth live with the mother. The mother is bitter. The mother is bitter because of the decision that the dad made. It don't work out with him and her. And she it not work out with him and her. She just begs because him go look happy. Remember, you know, nobody can give you your happiness. So you are happy with him. And from happy with yourself. Just like some people, them comfortable being worthless. So if you comfortable being worthless now, tell me now, what can I do? If you are comfortable being worthless, because I they, they, they not try. Don't have all of my energy where God gave me. I try for you, not worthless. And you just alright and comfortable. Everything you can't bother do this and you can't bother do that. I miss it on now. I try to change you. 
Me can change pound, me can change US, me can change Canadian, me can change yen. Me can change any money at all, but I cannot change no man or no woman. I will not be looking at myself and know that. Enough time we are all back with self. I may tell you, always sit down with your youth. Sit down with your youth and make them know, say, always put out your best. Enough people say sometimes my best is not good enough, but make sure you try your best. Anything at all with them I do. If they play football, tell them to do them best. If they go to an exam, tell them to do them best. You know what I eat? No found a dirty mama. You don't have the youth them. You don't help the youth them with no school work. You don't do nothing more than just pay money. You never sit down with the youth them have a one on one hour school. What go on? How the teacher you like her? How much teacher you deal with at the time? You want me to come up at the school, you know? And, you know? Things like that. You and the youth have a reason, you know what I mean? And when you and the youth have a reason now, you see where I go on the youth then. So I'm on that one. Make sure you get straight here. And make sure you this and that. A hundred you're supposed to get. And when you are going to school, you daily you get 25. Out of hundred, you daily you get 25. But then you are battered the pitney until the pitney said the pitney dance. You would it bright? You will never bright. So you give the pitney a chance and find out what is the pitney weakness. What is the pitney strength? What is the child good at? You know what I mean? Things like them, they want to be involved in the youth life. But when the youth was a man passed for a law school, Bailey Selassie and Charlie Smith and, you know, Clan Carty and, you know, some school. You know what the people got campion now, you know what the people got Excelsior and Woolmers and Georges, you know, you know what the people got. JC, you know what I mean? I don't want to pick them because them school, they teach feel high. You know? All of these things, you know see. But you know what? Batter the pitney after the pitney do it best. Because remember this, you know, we are not in the classroom. All we can do is support. Do you know how to support somebody? How do you support somebody? Do anybody know? How do you support somebody? Enough people don't know how you support somebody. Telling somebody say them what this are them not going to reach now that is not support. That is verbal abuse. You're verbally abusing the pit. Telling a man saying what this is verbally abusing him. Telling a woman say she what this member that's verbal abuse thumping up and fighting up that's physical but the words they will come out of your mouth can very be very dangerous see i may mean, tell you i wake up this morning i feel nice jesus christ look how nice but my melanie come like my name melanie the way i'm melan out i mean it all about melan jesus Zain, me nice. I remember me the business who don't want to say me nice. Come in, know me nice. Zain, so I don't know. Through my born in a goodness. Because I remember my father good and my mother good. So I just born good like my name, goody goody. How oh, the feeling not in here, guy? How oh, the vex? Are you born or no? Yeah. Watch this now. Me and my brother are reason this morning, you know. And we are talking about the word love. How do you know that you love someone? Because the people say love. Don't vanish. And if you love a person, you can't stop loving them. In a my defense, if you love somebody, you can fall out of love with them. See? You can fall out of love with them. And you can still care for them. 
So love and care is two different things. I care for a person, but I don't love them again. I care for them. Having feelings for them, but what type of feelings do you have for them? Do you have feelings for this person that you will still take out your little teapot and put it in their pokey? Rub it up in them chocho? Do you care for this person to do things for them still? Because there's a difference, you know. Like when me, you know, people are talking about baby mother and baby father can't left and them can't rare really. What the fuck would I say? Make a reason. Make a reason. You, know. you have your baby father. And your baby father never treat you good. Abuse you in a every, every way, shape, and form. You no response if you're dead or alive. You don't know say you're not sure to our three people. See him where he goes for the baby mother. How can you still love a person like that? Yes, having some form of respect for them, for being your child's mother or father is different. This is what I mean, no. Not for the people that mix up this something about baby father and baby mother. You know them have an unbreakable bond. You know how much baby father hate them baby mother. Do you know how much baby mother don't want to even see her baby father's to a pint? Eh? So, the difference with loving someone and caring for someone is different. Remember, you, know, you can love someone, but you have to give yourself a chance to heal from them because they have hurt you so much because they know you love them. Remember, you, know, you love the person and you're willing to do them. Everything you do, just like how the man said, a 14 time him sex for Keisha. And Keisha, him don't know if Keisha go eat way, you know. Keisha does say she got her mother and she don't got her mother. And him begs and ball out the living eye water and love him, say him love her now. And I really love him, love her. Him just a realize, say, him tell her so much lie and she tell him back one lie where him know about. And it a mad him. See? It a mad him. Enough time we think that we love a person in a margani. I guess we have. Enough time. Enough time we think that we love a person. We have gastroenteritis or acid reflux. Because your belly feel away, you know? I feel like I love you, love the person. See? And I know sometimes when you're up on the internet, you meet some nice people and conversations. Nice. Conversations can lead up to many things. But the more you talk to a person, it's better when you go around them. Because when you go around them, you feel a different vibes than when you're even up on the phone. Communication is a big thing when you can communicate. A lot of people can communicate good, but once they run them, the communication gone. And a whole heap we in our relationship where we now communicate with the partner, where we're there with, so we don't know enough of the things we forgot. Most of the time, truly man don't get the front already. He just feel like say, yeah, man, he must do man lap now, because man, enough man me here say them something, yeah, oh, from a push in my body in a sheen, my girl that. But yeah, you're a girl that. But if you put in your penis into a woman's vagina and you and her come and meet nature one, you have to know what you do. Because remember, you know, everything we find and done there until sex put on. You know. ah, after sex put on, then we have to know where we have to go on. You know. Because remember, no you know, talk to a person until sex put on. When sex put on, remember before sex, you know, two, three, four months worth of communication and everything good. Feelings that upon the phone. No, I'm not hear from you. I'm not hear from you yesterday. I'm not hear from you that day. I'm not hear from you this. I'm not hear from you that and people are catching the feelings. But then now, bam, link up, go on, and body going at pum pum. And when the whole of this go on now, after this go on, and, you, and it probably it nice for him or probably it nice for you or it nice for both of you. Know. But after this, make we see the communication, I go still go on. 
make we see the communication of a still go on because remember sex don't put on now you know suppose him play the nice patient role like a big hospital because you have a lot of man and woman them have hospital patients mean on the patients because i have a little doctor's office so don't i don't have a big hospital with patients while you have some people them full of a public them have full of patient Cornwall regional you know what i mean so now after the whole of this sex put down now let's see now you used to talk 17 times a day 17 times a day jack down to me busy me busy but you never did always busy the same work you are doing me and you attack and now sex put on and me and you just can't have no no nothing at all Come remember you know you have some people them transparent for a month some people give themselves three months being transparent I say me always tell people to say me I live with me are two different things so remember this you know when a person come to you and say what do you want from me or what do you expect from me many people cannot answer that question most men or boy don't know how to answer that question because a woman knows what she wants if she fling down bully for fuck already no, she don't want to have meaningless sex anymore. She don't want to just have fun. Enough man. Don't fuck down the place already and it does want easy. So the two of them not dip on the same page. It's just like when a woman says, what are you bringing to the table? What can you bring to the table? You see that word there is a big word because enough times some woman only look on the bends and the pretty beamers and the nice cars, the outside life. And when you're going with the person, you see them real life because remember, a lot of people, my wife Christina, Lord of his mercy, a lot of people see the outside life, that means the internet. The internet, you know, because nobody don't put up, say, they're struggling on the internet. That uncle, Auntie Dana alone put up, say, people are struggle. Only Auntie Dana alone put up, say, people are struggle. Everybody see the nice part. People put up and say, them just buy a bag. And then put up and say, they just buy a shoes. And then put up and say, they go shopping. And they've been to the parties. And they've been to all of that. When you go closer now, you see the people, them real life. And when you see the real life now, then you have to go think now, do I want to be in this? Because I thought this woman had money. I thought she was rich. I thought this man was rich. I didn't know that he had a regular 9 to 5. I thought him was a hustler. I thought him was a, a scammer. I thought this man was going to change my life for the better. But me and him they're on the same level and I can't be with him because he's on the same level. I thought I was going to get 50000 a week from this guy. I think I was going to change my hairstyle every week. I asked this guy for 10000 Jamaican dollars, JMD. And when I asked him for the 10000 JMD, he told me he didn't have it. So I'm fair drive that big pretty car there. But listen ladies, when he was driving in the car, you ever take a look over the dashboard? You see if you see a big yellow light, look like a gas tank. That means he needs gas. The beamer that you cock up your foot in. 